Not sure what kind of bird this is, but let's see. I'm out scouting, walking some areas that, that I hunted or checked out last year. We just had a rain, thunderstorm move through, so just kind of checking the area out. This is kind of on the end of a point. You've got a bluff wall here. you got mountain laurel. Uh, mountain laurel all through and around. <clears throat> and some in here, too. Um, we got a bed right here. You can kind of see, you can kind of see from here, it's a bed, it's a single bed. Um, usually with those, they'll be kind of a cluster and they're usually facing opposite directions. So, but looking in here, getting down and there's, you can find hair in there. So found a bed also, to me, all the rubs matter. So, like right here, that's an old rub. That's from, you know, several seasons ago. But if a buck thought it was a good, you know, a good place to be, then odds are a buck will think it's a good place to be in the near future, whether it's good acorn crop or poor acorn crop, whatever the reason was they're here. Um, he can get away. The bluff wall kind of ends on both sides. Um, so, I mean, he can, he's got this big blow down to his back right here and he can, he can see off to the front. You got to draw on both sides. And so he can, he can get out just about any which way he needs to. So it's a good spot. We'll mark it and keep going. So I went a little further on this same point um, and found another bed right here. And <clears throat> That's why I was getting down to look and just checking, just brushing back some of it. There's hair in here too. You start pulling it back and looking. Um, there's hair and here's well from over the years. So this makes me think it's a buck bed, um, a buck bedding area. I don't think the our deer here where I'm at, I don't think they have one bed that they stay in year round i think they have areas they stay in so i think this is one of the areas that a buck uses you know lives in for a portion of the year um and just kind of looking around too talked about it before a lot of people's talked about it but you can see the green bar nipped off or it's been eaten off from this past season so it's got plenty of browsing here between the green briar and just all kind of green they can eat so thinking this is a buck bed at least an area it beds in um i am looking for a particular buck so hopefully i can kind of hone in on him but uh but i do think this is one of the areas we're supposed to have a south wind today and so it's supposed to be out of the south let's see so right now it's true it's out of the south and it's uh, right now it's hitting me in the face so all right I'll keep looking i'm above a creek crossing now and just working working down through here let's see there's a we got a rub right here on that tree and then following it on up This is always good. You got this tree here. This one looks older, but it was snapped off probably two, two or three seasons ago. And then you come right up here from it. This one looks like it was snapped off last year. It looks 
fresher, more fresh than the other one. And over here, looks like we got another row. So rubs, they're not the end all be all, but they are a piece of the puzzle. Um, that just tells me that bucks, you know, I'm not close to that creek crossing, but I'm up above it. And uh, it tells me that bucks do use this area, coming through this area. And so I'm gonna mark it down and, and keep looking for other pieces of the puzzle. All right, <clears throat> there's a, I'm up above a creek. There's a creek. I'm not real close to it. You can't see or hear it, but it's down there. And there's a bed right here. It's right, right there. And you got blow down behind it. Um, and you keep going up and you've got bluffs uh, up above it. But this is kind of a lower bed. Hearts lower in elevation anyways. I think it's a right now bed. I think it's being used, um, you know, right now. Well, those other ones had hair under the leaves. This one had hair on top of the leaves. And so it makes me think it's a, a bed that's being used now. It's cooler down here than it is on uh, up top of the ridge. So it's cooler down here. I mean, you're closer to water than you would be having to come up from the top, so to come down to the creek. So I think it's being used right now. So we'll just keep looking. All right, found another bed. Um, we got mountain laurel all through here. You've got this undergrowth here. You've got some blowdowns behind me here. And I found several lawn beds so again, it makes me think it's a buck bed. And then right here, on the just on the back side of this tree, you know, the bluff is right over here. It's kind of a bluff wall. And so there's another bed. <clears throat> and it looks like it was used during hunting season, probably when the pressure was cranked up. Um, probably when the pressure was cranked up because there's some twigs and stuff and limbs in it. But there's pretty good bit of hair in this bed so you can see it's one they've used through the years and when you get into one of these spots you can just slow down and start looking because whenever i'm scouting i'm looking for signs so when i find sign i just need to slow down and especially if it's a bed kind of in a secluded area where it could be an older deer older buck just slow down and and just dissect the whole area because I'm looking for signs. So if I found it, I need to go ahead and walk it really good, learn everything about it, where I can get where he, ha how far he has to go before he can come up the draw to get into this bed. Um, you know, and like right here in the winter time, you know, he'd probably be able to see a long ways. He'd be able to see uh, down or maybe even to the other point over here. But now, it's, everything's green bow season you know you can't see you know 30 yards in here so but once you find the sign go ahead and slow down and and really come over that area real thoroughly that way you can you know pick, even pick some trees out uh, go ahead and pick some trees out if you've got milkweed drop the milkweed see what it's doing in this area uh, right now it's blowing true i'm up on top of the ridge it's blowing true um you know, so just, uh, there's a bunch of hair in here, a bunch, but probably a buck because it's a lone bed by itself. I have found some other ones this size, which is a pretty decent size bed goes from here to all the way over there. So that's a, that's a fairly good size deer. There's my climbing stick. So pretty decent size deer. Um, not sure if it's the one I'm looking for, but but just remember when you find sign, that's what you came to find. So slow down once you find it and really, really break down that area, figure out 
the quickest, you know, how are they coming into this place? Uh, what would make the most sense as far as them coming into it? And then pick out some trees. You know, where could I get uh, if he's coming to bed or where could I get if he's leaving here that would be advantageous for me to, to kill him. So this might be the last one for the day. All right, I was talking about trying to slow down and come through the area once you find sign. So I followed the trail coming out of that bed right through the mountain laurel. And there's no way you could do this during the season. You blow everything out of the county. Um, but followed a trail through the mountain laurel, come through here, and that, I don't know how well it'll show, but that is a old, uh, very large bed. Uh, it's huge. And it's got, I've already kind of walked up and checked it out. It's already, I mean, it's got hair in it uh, from this past season. But it's, it's big. I mean, you can tell they use it every year um just trying to see how big it is it's you know it's quite a bit bigger than the than my stick my climbing stick walking stick um so if you find it you know you got laurel right here nothing's going to be able to see i mean this is on a bluff so just kind of looking at it and trying to figure out the area there's a trail that goes right through here back around to that other bed um looking at this there's a trail that exit out it exits out and heads this way um you can't go down because it's bluff so it's got to go back up and just kind of looking and checking it out this is this big blow down right here but I'd say this is a preferred bed uh, by whoever the dog is that year. You got another large bed right here. It just goes all the way right here against this tree. So I was I would think whatever the whatever the dog is for the area, you know, he's gonna have that bed if he chooses to. So and once you come up here, you've got all this thick uh, now in the dead of winter in January, it'll look different. You know, it'll be different looking. So you can think about all these trees that are gone, but you've still got these bushes and laurel and things here that'll hold onto their leaves all through the winter. So it'll provide really good cover. And if you were to try to come in down the ridge, I mean, they'll be long gone before you get here. So I'm gonna mark it and try to figure out a tree that I could get in and not blow the whole thing up um, and maybe get a crack at them. So. Alright, <clears throat> so I'm on the same point. I've been walking it, just scouting it real thoroughly. And more huge beds right here. There's another over there. I don't know if it'll show up, but it's right over there. They're all the same size. That's what makes me think it's a buck. And and then there's this one. I know they're just kind of watered out, matted down. Big old bed here. It's got scat in it, big clumped up scat from this past season. <clears throat> so he felt he felt pretty secure, you know, with all this mountain laurel behind him here. He got a bluff on this side here. Um, he felt secure. And I wasn't very far off from him. I climbed probably a hundred yards that way this past season just trying to think and figure out where he could be so i was in the ball game but what i didn't probably didn't i didn't know then was you know he's bedded right here i thought i could catch him crossing but uh pretty sure this is probably the the buck i'm trying to find i hadn't found a shed but keep looking here a little bit longer see if i can find some more beds and pick a few trees we had a heavy rain, thunderstorms last night and today. Um, and I'm working up from that buck's bed, trying to pick out some trees uh, to possibly bow hunt and then from gun season. That's fresh, uh, fresh buck's cat there. There's another pile right over there. 
So this is kind of where some trails intersect. That over there looks like it could be a bed, the way it's kind of bowl shaped. But fresh sign is good sign, old sign is good sign. Let's mark it all down and try to come up with a plan. <laughs> 